Hey guys, I'm making this video for you all to introduce myself and to share my experience and my knowledge that I learned along the way with building a fiber laser machine. So yeah, this is my experience, my personal information, and I'm hoping that it's going to be useful for some of you who are interested in building one of your own. But before we start with the video, I want to give a big thanks to Skyfire. So for those of you who are not familiar with Skyfire, Skyfire sells a lot of fiber laser equipment and they really have a great pricing on their website and they offer a lot of uh, information there as well regarding how to build a fiber laser machine and what are all the parts that are included in a build like this. So if you are interested in learning about fiber laser and building your own, please check their website. Also you can use my discount code which is from Tamar. Will, and it will give you 5% discount. So thank you guys and thank you Skyfire. Hey guys, so I decided to make this video because I feel like I never really got the chance to explain enough about the process in building a fabulous machine such as mine and all the thoughts and decisions that goes beyond uh, a build like this. So here we go. Firstly, I want to introduce myself. My name is Tamar Bar. I own a workshop that includes a big CNC router for wood cutting. Uh, I cut some aluminiums uh, on it and all sorts of plastics and more. And also I have my Fabo laser machine, as you know, that I can cut uh, sheets and tubes. In my business, I offer some CNC services which are sheet cutting, sheet metal cutting, and tube cutting, square tube, round tube, rectangular tube, and, and also some cutting, wood cutting, and other uh, materials with my router. And also I design and I manufacture some uh, Ninja Warrior obstacles for local gyms here in my country. It's like, it's a big thing here. So yeah. Now, back to the fiber laser machine. I will show in the background some footage of my workshop and my machines and the fiber laser machine and videos and such as as I speak. My journey with building the fiber laser machine started two years ago when I built my first big plasma table for sheet cutting only. Later on I decided I want to add the, the plasma fourth axis attachment for tube cutting. The machine overall worked great, but I wasn't really uh, happy with the accuracy of the plasma cutting. So I invested a lot of time with speaking with all kinds of engineers, uh, fiber laser uh, manufacturers, and trying to, sort, to source some information about fiber lasers. And after I got all the information that I needed, I decided to just go for it and purchase the laser components. The first laser components that I bought, I will show them here. As you can see, the laser components that I bought are firstly the ray tools, um, laser head, which is BT240S. It's a manual uh, focusing head. And for laser source, I chose the Rekus RFL 2000C. It's a 2 kilowatt laser source. And the laser source and the laser head needs a water chiller. So for the water chiller, I bought the Henley 2000 water chiller. And also I bought a set of some gas valves. For the laser controller and uh, motors, I was able to keep my existing motors, which are closed loop stepper motors. And for the controller, I used centroid Acorn board for axis board with the THC kit. Now, I want to give a big shout out to Centroid. Centroid offers a lot of solutions for CNC machines. And they have a really, really great support system and support form on their website. And personally, I want to give a big thanks to Joey from Centroid. Without him, without his help and patience, I really wasn't, I couldn't uh, make this possible. And by this, I mean connect the fiber laser to the 
plasma controller. So yeah, thank you, Joey. And if you want to learn more about Centroids and all the services and what they offer, I will link, I will put a link below of their website. So check them out. Now, before we proceed further, I want to say that I don't recommend, I don't recommend it to anyone to use uh, fiber laser components with a plasma controller. It comes with all sorts of problems. For example, fiber laser, con fiber laser components such as fiber laser head and fiber laser um, source needs a lot of different functions from plasma. So you really need to go to the trouble and trying to configure everything and everything and trying to do some costume codes for the controller and yeah it's definitely difficult and it's a headache and that is what I chose because of the following reasons. The reason that I chose to keep my current controller is because I really want to be able to cut tubes and a dedicated fiber laser controller that can cut also sheets and tube at the time it was the only option that I that I found was the FS cut 3000s controller and a controller like this cost around between 4 to 5k USD so I really didn't have the funds for it so yeah I decided to keep my current controller and for tube cutting, I'm using Sheetcam Plasma Rotary Plugin. It's all great, but yeah, as I said, it's not suitable for fiber laser. Now, a while after, I decided to change my stepper motors, my closed loop stepper motors, to servo motors. And the servo motors that I chose, I will show them here. I decided to buy those motors because I have a lot of motors on my machine. I have X, Y, Z, Y2, Y3, B1, B2. So yeah, it's seven motors. So I didn't really have the money to, to buy a professional servo motors like Yaskawa, Innovance and more. So I decided to buy those. And at first I really de uh, regretted this decision because to tune those motors, it's really, really problematic. And it took me a lot of time, like three months to tune them. So I will be able to be satisfied with the cutting results, the motion results, sorry. And it's due to those motors, the, those drivers don't really have software so I can tune them. So the tuning is done only from the driver by trial and error. But I can say happily that, I, that now the machine run fast and I managed to tune them correctly. So the machine now is fast, it fast accelerates and I'm happy with the those models, yeah. I will show some video here on the, how the machine moves. I want to say a big thanks to Travis Mitchell, a fellow YouTuber. He, he's made the first really uh, fiber, DIY fiber laser video on YouTube. And he has been a really great inspiration for my build and for the videos that I upload. I've spoken with, with Travis a couple times on email and he seems like a really nice guy and he's really uh, passionate about what he's doing so I'm really happy to have uh, a guy like him on YouTube explaining things and showing his work so after I watched Travis videos I discovered thanks to him Skyfire so I checked their website and they offer really some, some, some really great prices about laser components and they have a lot of information regarding lasers, fiber lasers, and how to build and what do you need on the website. So if I personally had the information that they offer on the website two years ago when I first uh, started learning about fiber lasers, it could have saved me a lot of uh, time and headache trying to find information. So I really suggest uh, to anyone who's really interested in fiber lasers to check their website. And if you want to buy some laser components, you can use my discount code from Tamar. I will put it here. It will give you an additional 5% discount. And they are already have some great prices. So yeah, it's a no brainer. I also want to give a big thanks to Fiona from Skyfire. Um, I've contacted her through the email 
and she was able to give me a lot of information and she was able to give me uh, a lot of uh, she was able to answer a lot of my questions and that I had about fiber laser and fiber laser controllers and uh, she has been really patient with me with all of my questions so thank you Fiona I have decided to upgrade my machine, my controller, for a dedicated fiber laser controller. The controller that I chose, I will show it here. And this is an EtherCAT based controller. So it has some ports for, for uh, uh, several models that supports Pulse and Deer, but it doesn't have enough uh, ports for all the motors that I need. So some models I will need to change that can support EtherCAT. So the motors I'm going to, ch to uh, purchase, the new motors, I will show them here as well. The new motors that I'm going to buy are Innovance um, servo motors with the drivers that can support EtherCAT um, signals. And the size of the motors that I chose are based on uh, suggestions that I've got from a friend of mine, uh, Sophia, which are also manufacturing and selling laser components from China. So first I want to say thanks, Sophia, for all the support that you have given me those past uh, two years, I think, that we were able to connect to the fiber laser business. She was able to give me a lot of information and a lot of great pricing uh, <laughs> for me personally. I think because we know each other for a long time and uh, all the, my laser components are from her. So yeah, thank you. So the size of the motors are, are based on her suggestions and what she used on their fiber laser machine that they manufacture. I am sharing with you all this information because I feel like there isn't really uh, enough information about fiber lasers online. Like on YouTube, only Travis, I think, is really uh, giving any information about fiber lasers. And only Skyfire is really offering uh, some information on their website. But beside that, there, I didn't really f find a lot of information online. So, yeah, I am sharing with you all this information because I'm hoping this will reach <laughs> the anyone who is really interested in building and understanding fiber lasers. So, yeah, I think it's really important some, to show some personal use uh, information and hopefully it's helpful for some of you. So this is it for this video. I'm hoping this video was useful and interesting for, uh, for you folks. And I will keep you posted and I will update you guys on any progress that I've made on the machine on the next video. Thank you guys. Video and this video.